And we're back. We're talking about some phenomenal topics here. Now, before we went to the commercial break, you were talking about purging. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the season of singleness and having a singleness of heart and a singleness of mind and, and getting rid of all the baggage from your past. Explain. Absolutely. Um, women don't take the time to be alone. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be alone. There's nothing wrong. Now, if you don't exactly. want to be alone, that means that you don't like yourself. Mm -hmm. How can you expect uh, somebody else to come into your life and like you when you, you're not comfortable with you? We have to purge from that last relationship mentally and everything that happened in that relationship, as well as a physical purge if there has been some fornicating going on. You have to cleanse your body because what you are doing and when you do that is you are sharing spirits. You are literally sharing your soul with somebody else right. because you mm -hmm. are made as one when that happens. And if you don't clean that out, take the six months, 12 months and get to know you and clean that out and clean yourself out mentally and then so, see if you, yeah. so you basically, reevaluate. If you don't take that time and you jump from Bill to Frank to John you to take George. You carry Bill, Bill Frank, Frank and John and, John and George, George. Right along exactly. with you. Mm -hmm. Right along with you. So how exactly. do you expect that relationship to work when you comparing them men's and they all twisted up like is like, And then what strange. you just said and maybe Jill. <laughs> right. Because a lot of women are going to, <laughs> oh, oh I can't find a good we, man we, and, and that's your excuse working. for being gay for a day. I don't know what's mm, that wasn't even an option. That's not even an option. You can't right. find you a man. You just don't. You be alone. Like you know, that's not an option. Over the break as well. What's wrong with celibacy? When I no. wrote Me, Myself, and Him, it deals with celibacy. But as an author, we write what we know. So I wouldn't have penned that if yep. I myself had not experienced that I had been with my husband now for nine years mm -hmm. and we had had two children. But when God spoke, and when I saw God's word, ignorance was no longer an excuse. Not so, so what do you say to the single, the college age student, the, the I don't know, the woman in her 30s and 40s, the, that, that male, you know, um, who's living alone? No sex. That's not even realistic. That's not practical. It is realistic because God commands that in Romans 12, like I said, and it said it's our reasonable service. Why is it not? I myself, when God spoke, I obeyed. I had to shut it down. And everybody asked me, what if you lose this man? What if I lose my soul? What if he cheats on you? What if I cheat on God? God is bigger and he is greater. I love him first more than me, more than the man, more than the children. He comes first because of him. I now have my husband. I have my children. Mm -hmm. What I couldn't do in nine years, God did in nine months, nine months of celibacy, nine months of purging, mm -hmm. nine months of cleansing myself, nine months of setting myself free, making myself whole and nude, holy and acceptable, not just for God, but for my husband. That. Wow, that's a powerful statement. Now, some would say that's not my faith. That's not my religious tradition. In fact, you sound like a Jesus. Freak. So what you want? So, so be, be, now, mm -hmm. as a Christian myself, I know the life of, mm -hmm. of celibacy and, and mm -hmm. being abstinent. But what practical thing? I mean, if you had to give, you know, our I viewers, will not give any other options. Okay. You cannot add to nor take from the word of God. What so a, I will not do that. And what I'm going to add to that is. I tell these young girls, you can't look at somebody and see if they're sick. Why would you trust somebody mm -hmm. with your life? Exactly. That means that you don't know if they got HIV. Mm -hmm. You don't know syphilis, herpes. Right. You mm -hmm. don't know what somebody else is carrying. Why open yourself up There's to that? There's no other option. Yeah, so, so, you know, we talk about how the, the bedroom of ecstasy oftentimes transforms into the bedroom of expectancy. Because there's all types of things that you can expect as a result of this bedroom experience. And you talked about it. STDs. I mean, mm -hmm. that can result in death. Yes. Unplanned pregnancy. Yes. Uh, emotional anxiety. Thank you. False right. pursuit or mm -hmm. desire for commitment. Absolutely. So, so in addition to mm -hmm. what the Word of God says, which should be the foundation mm -hmm. for many of exactly. our lives, there are practical things Absolutely. that we have to consider as well as mm -hmm. to why we should wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, you're on a college campus. You deal with mm -hmm. students all the time. Dominic, I mean, what, what's taking place at Indiana University? Uh, what isn't taking place is probably an easier <laughs> question to answer. I mean, like I said, it's, it's one of those situations where you look for people to mate with. You don't look for people to date with. Mm. Um, you're looking for people to get and have a sexual relationship with. But there are things that come attached with it. One of my best friends, dodged, he feels like he dodged a bullet. He had a girlfriend who got pregnant. He got ready to play the daddy role and found out the baby wasn't his. Mm. So now he looks at sex from a completely different mm. perspective. Right. I have another friend who caught an STD. Now he looks at sex from a completely different perspective. When you're getting in the bed with that person, you're getting so much more than that 15, 20 hours or whatever you want to lie and say to yourself that you're having. But you're getting so much more than just that. So if you really want to think about it, getting back to, to the soul connection, 
you're leaving a piece of yourself with all these mm -hmm. other people yes. and not eradicating those connections. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. what do you have left to give someone when you right. want to spend exactly. your life with them? When you're getting beyond that, you're having sexual relationships with these people and there's no connection whatsoever. So after mm -hmm. the sex is done and you still want to spend time with these people, you have those awkward silences where you sit on the couch because you have no kind of connection. Nothing else the to connection say. is spent. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you need to think about these things. If you really and truly like this other person, then you should really and truly spend some time trying to get to know them. And more so than that, if you're being single and you're concentrating on being the best you can be, take some time to fix yourself. If you yep. want to learn a language, learn a language. You want to learn hey, an man, instrument, earn yep. an instrument. Be the best you you can be. That way when you find the other person, and you don't have to worry about them completing you. You're coming to the, to the position complete. complete. Listen, fi final thoughts. We got 30 seconds. What message do you want to leave them with? Uh, let's start with you, Jalen. We'll go across. Earth? Um, I guess that being single is your time to rejoice in yourself and take note of your accomplishments and, and this and that. And don't always run to get into a relationship. Fix yourself. Mm. It'll help. Joy. And it's not always about finding a mate. Apostle Paul never married, and he even mm -hmm. suggested if it is not for you, it yep. is okay. Mm. It's okay. Mm. So, you know, not saying to be looking for a date or a mate, but it's not always about finding that husband or Enjoy finding that yourself. wife. Marriage is not for everybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dominic. Be okay with being you. Don't yep. look for a quick fix. Amen. By his book, by her book, by her book, mine's coming soon. <laughs> 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 this couldn't be a better way to end this show. You've been watching the Relationship Sexpert Show. I'm your host, Asani Pettifor. We've been talking about black, sexy, and single. Listen, go to our website, therelationshipsexpert.com, to find out more about our guests, and we'll see you next week when you tune in. Take care. Mm -hmm.